Hi, I'm Mike Miller, the CEO of the Renaissance Performing Arts. Despite the cancellation of our current season and the temporary closure of our theater, we are working every day to plan a full schedule of great performances and events for our patrons to enjoy as soon as we can be together again. We rely on performance generated revenue or 60% of our annual operating budget. And these cancellations have dealt an immediate blow to the Renaissance as we prepare to face a significant loss of more than $200,000 in the next two months. Please help us to recover just a small portion of this lost revenue and contribute to our Help Get Us Out of Quarantine campaign to raise a total of $25,000. Your gift of any amount will help keep the arts alive in Mansfield. Thank you for supporting the Renaissance Performing Arts. Welcome back to Quarantine Creations, part of the Renaissance Theater in Mansfield, Ohio. We've been partnering with local artists who have donated their time and their talent to help get us through this. First thing tonight, we want to give a very special thank you to John and Jenny Steingart. They're the founders of the Ars Nova Theater in New York City, and they made a very generous contribution to our cause. We're so proud to share the same values and passion of the arts, and we hope that this act of kindness inspires others to continue supporting the arts at all levels. For more information about Ars Nova and the groundbreaking work that they do there, please visit their website. Thank you again to John and Jenny, and please stay safe. On tonight's episode, we're proud to present something new. A local rock band with Catholic roots, but a universal sound. They all have a musical background, and some of them have been seen on the Renaissance stage. They're also all quarantined in separate locations, but they've been kind enough to put together a remote performance for you. So tonight, please enjoy performing their original song, To the Heights, The Branches. Won't you come on a journey with me to find what it is that you seek? If you've ever wondered if there's more to life Or what's just beyond the brink This is another fork in the road Which way will you choose? Go ahead, take a chance with me The world you 
Normally, at this point, I would be conducting an interview, but since we all can't be in the same room, we sent some questions ahead of time. So let's hear now from The Branches. Well, I am related um, to Anna, uh, one of our other singers, um, and then uh, Michael I met in college, and uh, Jacob, um, we met uh, working together at uh, Lexington on the uh, spring musical. What was that? Uh, well, it was 18, 18 was whenever we kind of I got to be friends. And then I think our first like performance was as a group summer. was that summer. So yeah. summer of 18, we did our first um, little tour. Um, and that was actually just Jacob, myself and mm-hmm. Michael. And I think we brought Anna up like one song. Will you be? Yeah, yeah. So Anna came up for one song, um, but we've started to integrate her more. And actually, hopefully, you'll hear a lot more of her um, as well. Well, on on our album, but hopefully on the next one, too. So, mm. yeah. Um, my first show at the Renaissance was Legally Blonde back in 2012. <laughs> um, they, they didn't have enough guys in the ensemble um so somebody that i knew from ashland was like hey we could use extra bodies on stage would you you know be interested in in auditioning and for the the chorus and i was like sure um because i was a musical theater major and experience um but then i kind of took a break uh as school went on and um and I went back to school for my music ed degree. Um, and so then my first show back at the Renaissance after my hiatus uh, was Newsies. Um, and I've been pretty pretty regularly uh, auditioning and doing shows since Newsies, um, which is it's much easier now because I live down here now um, to be able to, to make the rehearsal schedules work and, and everything like that. Um, my Renaissance history does not go quite as deep. Um, my, so I only moved to the area um, the summer of 2017, um, and I don't think I was in a Renaissance show until. Well, I did um, that murder mystery. I did mm-hmm. that murder mystery. I think was early 2018, mm-hmm. like January or February, um, and then in the fall of that year, I did. Annie, right? That's what that one was? Yes. The fall of... Yes. Yeah. I think that's right. Um, so yeah, Annie, and then... Um, kind of same as Jacob, kind of shows here and there where they work with the uh, with the teaching schedule. Um, I was able to do one of the Black Box Theater shows, which is really fun. That was Sunday in the Park. We both did that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we both did Annie, also. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. And then Gentleman's Guide, most recently was the uh, one I was in. But yeah, I mean, I we um, I think we both kind of help out um, at the Ren at random times with, I think we both done box office work. Um, you true. bartended, right? Bartended. Yeah. I've helped a little bit with costumes for Gentleman's Guide. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. Yeah. Little, little yeah, a little, little, little bit of everything. <laughs> whatever, whatever they need. <laughs> So I'm in marketing, advertising, and graphic design, so it depends. (laughs) Um, I've been working with uh, a brand experience consultancy. I've also worked with um, some startups. And yeah, so I just pick up projects along the way. Um, Right now, things are going well, so yeah. Um, My day job is that I'm a board-certified music therapist at Beck Center for the Arts in Lakewood, Ohio. I go to facilities all throughout the greater Cleveland area and provide specialized music programming and music therapy for clients of all ages and backgrounds, um, from infants to geriatric. Um, I also teach guitar lessons through Beck Center. Um, I have a position with the Dover United Church of Christ Chancel Choir as their bass section leader. And I take any kind of gig I can which usually lands me in a regional um, pit orchestra. Um, I teach pre-K through six general music and choir at Lexington School District, um, which has gotten exponentially 
more difficult recently, um, <laughs> as we are all aware. Um, and I also give um, private voice lessons, um, studio style. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and um, I do the 7 through 12 vocal music uh, for Lexington Local Schools, um, which, yeah, is interesting now, but um, a, a fun, a, a nice, interesting uh, opportunity, I think, um, to be able to um, do a little more one-on-one -on -one work with the students, which I think is kind of cool, so, yeah. Well, um, I do um, the majority of uh, the uh, lyric writing, um, and then I will put that, you know, to music, usually just on my guitar, um, put some chords to it, um, and that's kind of like the basis, and then I'll usually um, record like a demo and send it out to the other band members so they can listen to it um, and kind of play around and come up with parts. Um, and then uh, we really like start to hash out parts if, for one of two reasons. Either we have a performance coming up and we need to figure out what we're going to do um, or we're recording. And so um, we'll sometimes meet and have a rehearsal um, on a rare occasion um, or just kind of hash things out in the studio and uh, Worked out pretty well so far. Why is it hard to meet and have your rehearsal? Hmm. Well, uh, it, it's it is kind of tough to um, schedule rehearsals and meet um, because we do not all live in the Mansfield area. Um, Jacob and I do, which is very convenient. But uh, Michael uh, lives uh, up in the land of Cleveland, and um, Anna. Uh, lives in the Pittsburgh area in Pennsylvania, and so uh, we have to try to plan far in advance. Um, and both of them have, you know, their own full busy schedules, so we have to plan far in advance to do um, anything all together. Um, and we were lucky to uh, make this work, you know, as far as doing the um, remote recording. Uh, that's been cool. Yeah. Music and the arts are important right now because art provides us with a sense of connectedness, even when um, we all must be apart. It's also essential to our well-being. I mean, think of how boring quarantine would be if we didn't have our favorite bands, our favorite books, our favorite shows, all that good stuff. These are things that we can all come together on even without being in the same place, things that we can still agree on and have in common, regardless of what kind of craziness is going on in the world. Um, I've been having video lessons and video sessions with my students and therapy clients, and it's been wonderful to provide them with a sense of normalcy through these regularly scheduled calls. And on my end, it's forced me to make use of all kinds of technology that I may not otherwise have seen the benefits of and um, the helpfulness of all this technology that's enabled me to figure out that I can still connect and make art with people even when we're not in the same room. I think um, people are really leaning into the arts and, you know, music and collage work and painting and all these things. I think people are really leaning into them uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that it's so ingrained in the human spirit to desire beauty, all forms of beauty, um, ones that you can touch and feel, listen to, look at, like just, just, having a high like intake level of beauty, um, especially in really tough times. Um, and number two, I think another reason why it's been so important right now is because it's a way of expressing emotions and telling stories that people typically wouldn't, um, that they wouldn't necessarily be able to use regularly. So um, if you yourself are creative and you're going through a lot right now, um, people are really leaning into their creative outlets and exploring new ones. Um, and if people aren't necessarily creative, uh, or are like too afraid or, or whatever, um, there's so much other work out there, um, again, through, through all mediums that people can relate to and also use as a way of expressing things that they otherwise just wouldn't really know how to process. Um, and because everyone's really going through a lot right now, um, it's really important to 
yeah, feel the feelings without having them overwhelm you and just have really healthy ways of um, expressing emotions and feelings and your own story. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed tonight's performance, check out The Branches on their Instagram. If you'd like to donate to the Renaissance Theater, text DONATE2020 to 55678 or visit our website at rentickets.org. A huge thank you to all the artists who have partnered with us in our mission to inspire, to entertain, and to just be here for you. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Mm -hmm.